I've just retweeted a, a tweet. I, I did three little slides which I put onto in, Instagram, just trying to explain questions I'm trying to ask about the education situation as it as it moves online, if that's what's going on. Because I think it relates to the student accommodation questions which Exeter Council is consulting about at the moment. So there's there's houses uh, which students are, are, are living in and then there's new student accommodation blocks. And I, th I think the, the, the question of whether, whether the campus is still the, the, the only model re relates to that. So the, the three, three, three slides I've got, um, after lockdown there is more working at home, less office space, so that's just a, a claim. Uh, music has moved to online platforms, fewer shops sell new CDs. I think that was true before, before the lockdown. Although HMV is coming back into Oxford Street, so things, things aren't completely just one direction. And then the, the, the question, well, after lockdown, why will the campus stay the same? Do we need more student accommodation? Which I, I think is a reasonable question, but it, it, it's, it's outside the scope of, of the EduX Festival as it is at the moment, I think. Um, may, maybe we could come back to this again in the, in the future if the online... Let me just check the, the name of it. The Centre for Online Learning. But I, the, the, I, I don't think that that's in any proportion to the... The, the scale of the campus as it is so the, these questions are just questions to come come back to um, but um, this is not more or less on topic for the drama show um, I'm still working on two two plays one of them is called CD walk which is a walk around Exeter looking at where the shop the CD shops used to be uh, there's there's a HMV that's, is still there, but it, the, the CDs aren't the main part of it. I think, I think the character of HMV changes over time. It's going to be very interesting to see what the new HMV is like in Oxford Street. I, I've, I've heard it won't have any CDs. It's all going to be... It's, 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 like, it's almost a sort of souvenir of something that existed previously. But I, d I don't know. We'll, we'll, wait, we'll wait and see what, 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 what that is. Um... But then looking at where, 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 where student accommodation is being built and just asking this question. So it could, it could be a sort of reality walk or it could be um, fictionalised. Um, I, I understand drama can be ver verbatim drama or forum drama. There's various ways of doing it and various times it could have been in. I, 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 I have sent... Um, a script to Downstage Right in Plymouth, and they've 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 looked at it, and they've they've encouraged me to rewrite it and add to it and so forth. So I will try and do that, but I'm not I'm not sure of the the timing of it. Um, it's as if lockdown was a specific time when that when that draft was written, and that might have been the the time when certain ideas came over and now now have gone away things have gone back back to normal somehow but we'll see what 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 um what real dialogue i, I can note down somewhere and how it can be worked in and if somebody else wants to have a go at it, uh, that would be very welcome it's it's creative commons at this time i might change that if i do a lot of work on it or if somebody else downstage right used to, the first um fringe festival we had next to they were prepared to rewrite any play for a pound they they they, they only came up with a page but anyway some some similar offer would be would be welcome um it's also possible that the um bbc today program will have guest editors in August but I don't think our proposal well, I say our proposal I sent it in but I had s spoken to people on the Wild Show and We Not Know and uh, also the Storyteller Witsuth and Deal Theatre um, about 
looking at ed- education, not, not only higher education. Um, M- Matthew has a, has a day job as, as a maths tutor and he's very interested in um, the situation of, of um, people who have to take exams and the syllabus and um, he wanted to have it he, he, he it seems it's August this um, I think even even the guest editors are on holiday so they've opened it up to the, the, the listeners but I don't think it's going to be us because we'd have heard by now um, but the locations around uh, Oxford Street and Piccadilly Circus would lend themselves to fiction as a way of the Today programme coping with um, the situation of universities, the campus, moving online. Does it relate to the music industry uh, or anything else that's going on with real estate in the local area? Uh, they, they could they could do it, but I don't, I don't I don't think they will. But then again, the the the, the BBC radio seems to be going to um, a global audience of podcasting. They're not just for the UK, so maybe we will just sort of develop bits and pieces, and it might might work for them, or we might do it somewhere else. Don't know how that how that's going to work. Um, but the other the other play that I, I'm looking at, uh, regular listeners have heard all this before. But I'm I'm just re- I, I think ju- I think I'm just going to repeat things and, until there's more response to them. Um, when Peter Horrocks was was chancellor, vice chancellor of the uh, Open University, he he gave a lecture at uh, Durham University about the Fortress University. And uh, he was really justifying why why there was investment in future learn. Um, it, it sort of relates to, to to Simon Nelson, his his remarks about uh, future learn. As I said, I didn't, I didn't hear what he said yesterday, but I'd, I I imagine he's he's not. Um, how can I put this? He's he's not he's not going to go back to what different people at the Open University were saying and why Peter Horrocks had to resign and so on and so forth um, all, of, all of that will come up some, some other time but anyway um, drama can cope with controversy maybe more easily uh, it's another way of looking at things so uh, fortunately Kendall which is not too far from Durham has got some very good ruins. So the Fortress University was somewhere or another in a castle. Um, Lancaster has a very good castle in good condition. So that, that's maybe where it was. Um, but the, the science fiction set in the future about the ruins of the Fortress University it can be located at Kendall. And the stand-up philosopher also known as part of Woodsiff and Deal Theatre. Uh, last summer, I, I got an assurance that um, he could well visit... Well, he will be in the Lake District. He plans to be in the Lake District next summer. So he could appear at Kendall Castle Ruins. And there, there is a platform there. There's a, there's a, a, a clear sort of uh, raised space you could surround s- the, uh, with an audience. And uh, the, the stand-up philosopher could um, offer opinions on what has happened to the Fortress University, why it's in a ruin, and uh, what else continues. So I'm hoping this will be uh, rehearsed, uh, possibly in this very studio, if, if, um, if I can persuade him to, to come back to this show, which... Uh, he did. He did start uh, the story as the story. Well, the storyteller. There are various uh, various guises, um, but unfortunately, the bad the bad news is that um, the van has broken down. He, he's he's now living. Whitsuff and Deal Theatre is now based in somewhere near Toulouse. I'm not exactly sure where it is, 
Um, but the fan has been there throughout the winter. I don't know if it's been used very much, but faced with a, a massive journey, apparently it's, um, it's in need of care and attention. So whether, whether they will appear in time for the Respect Festival, I'm not sure. That was plan A. Um, so that's, that's an unknown. But all I'm, all I'm saying is that um, sometime next summer, the stand-up philosopher, the stand-up philosopher will be located in the ruins of the Fortress University and would say something. Or uh, I may have to do it all through virtual reality and sampling so forth.